This video is brought to you by Tuts, Tips, Tricks, Reviews, Unboxed on YouTube, and Hanson Mobile, Advertising on Facebook. put it all together for you okay so a quick update on my work with Wondershare I finally got them all done they're out of there now to go check on your folder you go in here you know, hit that button down the bottom it says open folder it's down on the left left hand or actually in the center and it pops up I don't need it though because like I said I've already got one open um, now this is where I come to what I do is I select all of them which I already did but I'm gonna do it again just to show you and I hit cut back out of here I go back to videos and I come up to or down to working with audio and video and I've got my own um, folder set up for raw videos. I create a new folder for inside of it and rename the folder already used videos. That helps out a lot when it comes to keeping track of videos that I've used and ones that I haven't used. Put that in there, then I paste. And boom, all those are already there. So, I back out of there. Check there. This is working with audio and video. And I've got that set up. So now, what I'm gonna do here, since like I said in the last video clip, uh, for some reason, this video it won't work good with uh, OBS open for me so I basically have to do one at a time and so whenever I show you this stuff I'm gonna back out of it and then I'm gonna do the process so that it doesn't mess up I go into raw videos I select all of them open them. These are the ones that have already been through Wondershare once. I'm going to run them through again. But before I do, I want to see a couple of these are. Like this one here is on that 15 second video. See there's absolutely nothing there so I can delete that one. Oh, wait a minute. It does have something. This is one of my test videos. Now, this one doesn't have anything. It goes from one clip to the next one. So I can get rid of this 15 minute one. Come up here, check out this 17 second one.
Yeah, this is when I was timing how long it would take for that to start so that I could cut that uh, audio out of my introduction. So that one's gone. I can finally clip it up because I got it on this video. And now I've got a 43 second video here. I understand that echo is supposed to be there because that was what I was doing the uh, sound checks for was to get rid of that echo so that's part of the video so that you can actually see it and let's see now we have another 11 second video here testing one two three testing one two three testing okay so that was a sound check after i did that one so that one is all taken care of and all i need now is the 17 minute video these right here there we go so I go ahead and delete these come back down to wonder share this is the second part that I just finished bring this up to or down to working with audio raw video put this in here with that okay and uh, add that one to the file actually can now do all these together and I will end this one and add this to the video that I just put on there and I should put it all together for you okay so now with my wonder share I was able to get all of the video together for what I did on making my introduction video for working with audio and video and that's taken care of but now this right here needs to be put together and that's fine because I'm going to split these up I'll make it into one big video and then split these up into 15 minute videos <clears throat> and I can take those two off and combine these videos right here with this one that I'm recording now and it'll show the process and everything that I'm doing on the Wondershare so that's also a good thing you know I uh I'm going to start doing things in a different format than what I actually was before. I'm uh, going to just go through it and show you how I'm doing it as I'm doing because just doing it in a tutorial kind of format just isn't working out. So I just don't feel comfortable with it. So let me 
go back and show you what I did. Come out here and merge it all the videos like before. Remove this one and this one. And then I will end this video and add this on the last part right here by opening this and instead of going to raw videos I will go to OBS in my videos or in my external hard drive and this will be the video that I add to it so let me get off of this and I will show you the uh, show you the next steps as I go okay so now I finally got the videos all processed and everything uh, this is my raw videos that I had there those have been converted with the uh, Wondershare to my settings they didn't all go on one video though, so I'm going to have to pull all of my videos off of the Wondershare folder, which is right here. Yeah, this one's the last one, and then these three. But I can now go to OBS and to my rough drafts and delete these because I don't need them any longer. I'll probably let me do delete them. And then I'll take this one and I will add it to the end of this one like I did before. I may come back in here real quick and I will cut and paste these like I did before. It's just basically repeat or pro a repeating process you know doing the same thing that I did the last time until I get all of it on there um, working on the audio and video come to my raw videos put them there I really didn't have to do that but yeah I guess I did but I went ahead and did it and this last one right here, cut that one, bring it up to my, or down to my working with audio and videos, raw videos, paste. Now, I, usually I don't have to use my already used videos, but if I get a lot of them and I have to you know, time the videos out to 15 minutes, I'll use that. Uh, there's other uses that you have for them, but having an extra folder in there to separate your videos for your clips is a good idea, so just pointing that out for everybody so they know. Now, what I do here is I go into my working with audio and video file, go to raw videos, go ahead and put these up here put these in it just like before and I end my OBS string that I'm doing right now and I add it to the bottom here and then I merge them and that's it so let me get off here and do it again hopefully it all goes together in one video this time Okay, so now I've got the whole big video going on and I, I got all the videos broken up into big sections and I'm working on video 4 now which is video 4 which is 51 minutes and 25 seconds. What I've done is I've split this up on the actual video and I don't know if it actually will do that. It 
without having to put extra ones because I've usually had to make copies of this and then uh, do each clip 15 minutes a piece. But I tried something new this time to see if it works out. Um, like I said, I'm having extremely, an extremely hard time at working with this Wondershare. You know, I don't know what the deal is. It just started up recently like that. I'm starting to get an idea that Wondershare, the Wondershare video uh, converter that I have is outdated like a lot of the other stuff that I've used. Um, which is pretty a shame, you know, because it's, it's hard to compete when you have to edit your videos like this. And, you know, for me, I try to make my own content. And for me to do that, I've got to use tools like this. And now I'm having to learn how to just wing it up the OBS and, uh, that's just to compete, you know, with little 12 year olds who sit in their bedroom all day for 12 hours long streaming, you know, video games. And, uh, they don't, they don't do nothing but put out garbage videos, no editing, no, no nothing, you know. That seems to be the only alternative, it seems like, when it comes to it, because like this right here, there's no guarantees that this actually works or will work. When it gets stuff like this, I usually hit pause, resume, pause, and do about three or four times. Sometimes I go five. And if that doesn't do anything, I'll come down here to cancel. It shows me an option if I want to cancel or not. I say no, and it goes back to it. Uh, looks like it worked out to me. It says not responding. It always does that. And then it'll stop and show a check mark saying that it's done. And it'll have a little pop up that says I can look at the folder that it's in and it'll take me to the folder. So. We'll see if it actually split this one big video into four smaller videos. If it did, I'll show you how I did it once I back out of this. That not responding is lasting a little, a little bit longer than what it usually does. I, I really think that uh, Wondershare doesn't really work too well on this computer with uh, OBS running at the same time. the amount of time it just didn't split up like I expected it to. I 
could go ahead and use it in my final uh, videos though. That's actually pretty good. So I come down here, or I come up here to, or down here to working with videos. Finished. This one. Go back to Wonder Share. Cut. Go to um, uh, I lost track of where I was uh, working with audio and video. Put this one in its place. Now what I actually wanted to do was this. Um, I guess I should have done it like this in the first place. Split it up in fours. Instead of merging them together, I had the same video four times. Do not merge them. This is how I've done it before. I just got curious. As, uh, now I am going to hit edit. I'm going to trim. That marker down here. It gives that arrow going back and forth. I set that at the beginning. This goes to 8, and I need to bring it all the way up near 15 minutes. It's 12 minutes. Up on top. Oh, no, all that undo. So this is at twelve seventeen point sixteen. Got that one in at twelve seventeen sixteen. Trim 
this. this again. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three.
six. Lower this down a little bit. That way it's out of your way. Because basically, uh, I can come in here. First, let me get it all started. Okay, so I added the music with the media source. And now I'm going to go ahead and play that, you guys. Uh, I can basically come in here and right in this area here, I can adjust the volume. Um, let me bring that up a little bit. Alt scale so you guys can see it. Uh, this is what I'm talking about. Come in here and go to settings, advanced audio properties, and then I adjust the media when it pops up here to where now this has to go to 36. Around 36 at least. Files up above here. So I go in here. I'm going to delete that one because it ended up being just black. This first try on doing this, I keep forgetting to do the traditions, the transition, and it doesn't add the It'll give you the option like I have. watching. If you like this video please like, subscribe, share, make comments. We love feedback.